a beach scene looking distant hills, some cliffs, bay, the sand, bit of foreground. I'm going to wet the paper which is uh, Fabriano, £130. Wet in wet, that's all I do on this paper. In fact, it's all I do on any paper with watercolour. I'm a wet in wet man. I like the, the soft effects we get and the, the unpredictability of it. I've got the board at about 50 degrees, I suppose. Now, uh, my palette is uh, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey, and burnt sienna. As for showing the mixes, well, I'll show what I can, but but I'm not going to angle the camera down, I'll just move the palette because I f forget to zoom back. I've got some overhead lights on. The uh, It's a very dull, drizzly, damp day today. So, put in a bit of a, a, a raw sienna wash. Just a, just a warm things up. I keep it out more or less out of the water, out of the sea. And then we'll put in a bit of a bit of blue, a bit of art from me, nice bit of alizarin in there. Kills a bit of the brightness of the blue. And then we'll mix a bit of bit of raw uh, bit of alizarin in with the paints grey. And then we can put in a nice bit of, bit of a cloud. And make a bit thicker. Just to get a bit of a shadow under that cloud. It's all dry as light of them is going on at the moment. Okay, I quite like that. Let's just do a little bit here. And I'll just bleed that out a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to reclip it, give it a stretch because the paper will expand. I'm having all sorts of problems with this box easel, I'm trying to get it at a nice angle, but when you, you can't just let the open the box and let the legs down normally in the back leg because the back leg goes much higher than the, the, than the front legs. So I've got the back leg propped up on a brick in like a half cox fashion and although it's a bit low on my knees I think it's probably as good as I'm going to get. I'm trying to get a lower angle so I'm trying all sorts of uh, all sorts of what combinations to try to get this to, to work. Right, I'm going to give that a little dry, so hold your, your ears. This uh, angle is still too, too steep, really. I've been mostly working at uh, 90 degrees or 85 degrees. But it's not really satisfactory. It's better that the board is a much gentler angle. But it's then trying to um, try to be able to reach reach the uh, the thing and, and film. I'll sit back in there just a bit blue. Some nothing there, really. Now, I'm going to take a t tissue and just block that long there. Let's look, it's all bred into the water. You can always clean it off afterwards. And when it's dry, you can go back over it with a that right, dry that off. And then we'll put 
bit, bit of a stronger colour. Just using those colours. Probably a bit of, bit of bluey green. And we'll, we'll uh, Okay, and we'll put a bit of a bit of warm in there. And to put a little bit of, bit of detail in there. I like the rocky stuff here, but it needs to be quite stiff. Just showing a bit of a rocky. Very little detail in, in that. I can probably just put a little bit, a few darks here in it. A dark bluey grey. into that. Okay. Got to, I'm making this up, just got to just use a bit of imagination on this. A bit of lost and found and there's some more. Some warm rocky sort of stuff. I'm using just a bit of burnt sienna and a bit of bit of the paint spray there. Just to give a nice little bit of rocks. The hardness, right now we'll come into the more to the foreground. So, as we go, we'll warm up. I'll use a bit of burnt umber because I've done got nothing against burnt umber, but with the burnt sienna, you can more or less get burnt umber by adding a bit of grey to it. But I do like burnt sienna. Uh, I'll put some trees on top of that. Clean the brush. It's surprising just how how finely you can paint with a hake. Sort of cliffs, and we can put in little rocky things. You need a cloth to soak up all the excess. And then just 
coming into. We've got to invent a bit of stuff here. This is the coming into the land. Alright, okay. We'll put in some some little bits of rock on the beach. A bit of a. I'll do my palette because it's getting a bit filthy there, so let's just give myself some mixing space. But I won't take it all away because some of that's useful colour. But I, I want to just put in this this beach, which is quite. Oh, that's. Yeah, I have to lift that out. I'll put it in here, leave the margin, now I'll put a bit, bit of blue in there, just a, just a smidge. Just reflecting in the wet sand, and then we'll put in a bit of a bit of a sea, a bit of blue, a bit of grey. Not a whole lot, bit too much grey. A bit of a lizard, reflecting the sky. Now, to get the, like, the white caps or the, the waves, just leave some, some white showing through. Now, there were too much of this. But that will show some, hopefully, some of the wave, waves breaking. Uh, I'll put a bit of sandy colour into some of that. Okay. Now, I, I don't like what's happened there very much, so I'm going to just lift out some of that. something there but I don't, want, I don't want to block the colour but it has so uh, on top top I'm gonna dry that off Put a few little trees and bits of hard, edge, hard, heavier, thicker paint on on the top of the uh, downs there. All right, look, just paint's grey, lemon yellow, a bit of burnt sienna. We've got lovely, lovely rich green, so we'll just put those on on here. Just a little bit of bit of detail in here. Got a little bit merged there, but anyway, never mind. Sort of bits of bits of gorse just sort of hanging on. To the cliff edge, cliff top. And 
it's all too regular. You want to change the shapes and, and things. Well, that that will do. And we can just put it on there. about it but uh, we'll put in some some rocks on the beach here and I'll scrape those out Like a Cornish beach. Right, let's get the uh, card. The card. And we'll just start to just lift out a little bit of bit of this. Shadows on the rocks, so a bit of paper, grey. Just so the lights a bit lighter. All right, now we're getting a bit of a bit of an umbry. of a, another viewpoint. There's a nice little dark in there, a good, good colour in there, good dark green. There's almost tube consistencies here. Grass is just just etched out. <coughs> uh, this looks a bit of a mess here, so I'll put in a few little rocks in there. A bit blue. Out a little bit of that. Quite a bit. It's one of those days where you th really think oh, you should be watching telly with your feet up. Oh, 
right, well that'll do. Um, right, a little bit of rigor work. Well, I might put some little, well I will, in fact I'll put in a couple of little figures. Just give it a bit of scale. I've done all week. I've put a couple of birds in. Right, so now yeah, some just a little bit of bit of uh, a little goes a long long way with this sort of thing, stuff. Well, put it in the mount, which hopefully will improve it a thousand percent. I think that's a bit muddy myself, but uh, I'll put it in the right coloured mount. It is nice. Reasonably clean mount. Uh, well, I don't know. I feel like swearing today. I don't know why, I'm not in a bad mood really. But I keep dropping things and nothing's where I put it. And I'm sure you all had days like that. That's, I think I could come down a bit with that. We'll take the painting up because I want some of that to show because I like that. Right, that we go. Okay, so there. So there we are, there we are, sort of a, a coastal scene. Uh, well it looks alright on the on the screen, that's I think if I wind you up, not, I mean not wind you up in an angry sort of way, but just wind the camera up a little bit. Okay, well there we are. Um, Devon coast, North Devon coast, uh, Cornish coast. The bits of it I quite like, quite like that. But I like this foreground, it was very, very simply done. But I budged putting these rocks in to cover up this mess I made here. But uh, there are plenty of, of bays in Cornwall where you do have lots of rocks. They're the wrong colour, they should be more grey. But, but anyway, uh, it's, it's a bit blocky, but I quite, I'm, I quite like parts of it. So I hope you do. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.